you seem like you take care of yourself pretty well. I try to. <laughs> um, have you ever entertained the idea of like seeing some guy who doesn't? What do you mean? Like, for example, I noticed a lot of girls, they seem to like go for the toxic guy that you were describing. Mm -hmm. And then they lower their standards because it was such a bad experience. And they're like, they think that uglier guys are going to treat them better, which I agree. <laughs> but lately, it, it, what the world has been proving is even ugly guys cheat. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter what you look yeah. like. Guys, ugly guys are just happier to get you. That's the yeah. difference. Like, would you ever lower your standards to date an ugly guy? I mean, you're still young, but would you? Would I? Um, potentially, because I feel like with being with an ugly guy, there's less pressure. Mm. There's a lot less pressure, especially like in bed. Because mm -hmm. I feel, wait, I who's pressure for girl? Yeah, I don't need. Well, you guys have pressure in bed. Yeah, for sure. It's like okay, from single, like, does my body look hot? Do my boobs look big oh, enough? Really, you guys think like that? Oh, absolutely. That's why it's so hard for like girls to come because we're not like emotionally there in the sex oh. well, like sometimes but really it's harder to get like relaxed really mm -hmm. that makes a lot of sense mm -hmm. so this is why a lot of girls are going for the uglier guys yeah because it's easier to come because you're just like who are you to me <laughs> <laughs> that sounds terrible but yeah exactly no i'm learning so much from these podcasts from girls i had mm -hmm. no idea like this is how you guys think yeah so you do you take long to like orgasm in the bedroom oh absolutely really?